All right, well, a bit of a change of mind on the dumper. Oh, no way. Oh. Hey folks, welcome back. It's a big barn build, and we're gonna be making a start on some of the floor saw cutting today. Uh, we're gonna have a go at that. I've also taken down this wall. Got a bit of help today, I've got Scott, um, who is one of our patrons, but also has been uh, coming up and giving me a couple of days help for the next uh, couple of weeks. So we're gonna be doing a bit of prep work ready for these footings to get cut in and then the same the other end. But first up, we need to get that floor source set up. Right, that's the blade on. This is uh, essentially a big stone saw, like a steel saw that you might use by hand, uh, but it is on a cart. Now, I remember back in, I think it was the autumn last year, we hired out a Milwaukee, a cordless floor saw, or it was just a, a, a normal cutoff saw, but in a floor saw attachment. And it did a fairly decent job of cutting this drain in. However, uh, it was pretty slow going, simply because this is a thick slab and it really wasn't designed for this sort of length of, of job. Whereas this really is, it's got uh, this bar here, you can set that lines up with the blade. So if you mark up on your slab exactly where you need to cut, you can trace along with here. You can then adjust the depth of the cut with this. And then you've got a gauge down here to reference so you can see how deep you're going. So this will cut about 180 deep which should be plenty for our slab. It seems to be a little bit thinner. It's about 150 this end, um, but I seem to remember it being a little bit thinner outside. So that could be in our favor. Ah, just been looking for spanners. I found some. Right, get some water in the top here and we'll be away. Well, it works. Uh, so we need to get the water in there and prep up this line along here. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's gonna be a particularly peaceful operation, um, but it should get the chop done quickly and accurately. And that the aim really is to end up with a nice and neat line along here because the, the reality is most of this is gonna end up staying because we haven't got money to be spending on landscaping and driveways for some time. So if we can retain this slab, once it's cleaned up, it's perfectly usable we'll end up probably completing the exterior of the house and this will still be as it is now. So if we can have a nice neat line all the way along here, there'll be some transition point, whether it's um, a step up, a channel drain or whatever, that, that'll all come at a later point and part of the design process. But if I can get this line cut in, so at least we can get the bucket in there, dig a nice neat, fo uh, neat footing along there, then we should be good.
What a tool. That is absolutely rapid. And if you're going to do any cuts that are going to be visible, that's as straight as you're ever going to do. And you haven't got a bad back after kneeling down with a stone saw. So that is two passes, but really you, if you went slow, you could do it in one, but it's easier to, to do in two. So I did about 100, 120 on the first pass and then full depth on the second. For us, because we've got quite red subsoil or sub uh, base here, as soon as I could see the pink coming up in the water, um, I knew that I cut all the way through. So we're, we're either all the way through or very, very close. But it can't have been much more than five minutes to do a 10, 10 12 meter stretch there. Way quicker. I mean, it's a proper four stroke big engine. So I'm guessing it's, it's far, far more powerful than doing it with a handheld or even a handheld with a cart. So we should be able to break everything out to that point now and hopefully we've left enough width here that this will remain stable for now until we tear it all out in a few years. Good morning, we're back. Uh, I'm not sure if this video is a bit of a jumble. We took a little bit of a break from things because, well, it all got a little bit farmy. We had all sorts of other projects going on. But this is where we're at today. Um, I've managed to get the dumper loaded up because I'm going to start removing some of this sub base. We've got far too much in here and we don't want to be spreading it around if we don't need it. So I'm going to just leave the original sub base where it is we need to add to it it's fine we've already got the material if we don't we'll just move it all down to the bottom and then we'll bring it back up when we need it for stuff around the outside of the building so last week when I had Scott here we cut that first line along as you saw with the floor saw I'm gonna go in that in now with the pecker and see if I can break up to it and leave a nice neat line um, this side seems to be quite straight I think it went off a little bit but the nice thing is we can always run the saw along to neaten it up. My worry is if we don't do it and we leave that edge, I mean, that edge is probably gonna be the finished edge for a year or two at least. So it makes sense to have it neat. Then we can just put a nice little strip of gravel or crushed concrete or something in there for the time being. Right, without further ado, pecker on, let's do it. All right, well, a bit of a change of mind on the dumper. Oh, no way. Oh. I don't believe that. That's the same tire as last time. Ugh. How on earth? Don't believe that. The inner tube's gone. Even the valves drop right in. Surely. I 
honestly. What did I do? I drove forward. I can't see anything, but it's probably a bit of the blooming steel from that. All right, let me reverse it a bit and just see if there's anything obvious, and then I'll have to get Harry back out. Ugh, that is just my luck, isn't it? Just about, to, and I've left a massive pile of concrete behind Joe's car, and she's got to do the school run. Okay, let's think outside the box here. There's a good, one good thing is, we're at the right end of the barn. So I've pulled out a big pile there and here. Realistically, it's not impossible for me to carry on and I'll just shift it and shift it because I've already moved it from here to there and it didn't take that long. I'll just drag it all over and I can probably lift it higher up on the pile. Oh well, that's that then. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? Dumper. God, who'd have them? Well, I would actually, because it's been a great, great buy, that Humpty Dumpty. But anyway, let me give you a little overview of how far we've got before machinery and rain stop play. I've dragged out all those piles over onto the, the big pile. Uh, I'm just going to have a bit of a clean up now. So this is where we've got that cut line, and it looks like it's going to be straight enough I might just be a bit OCD about it and straighten up this uh, line now these post footings here so we've it looks like we've got you know a lot of posts but actually it's only that one and the one behind the door that we have to keep all of these are going so that means that whole footing can come up thankfully because it's a very very dense concrete I could, for some reason it just will not break out as well as the others Actually, looking at it, that's my concrete. I backfilled that after the welding when we moved here. Maybe it was my fault doing a strong mix. Actually, no, it's not all my. You see, that's mine. It's this grey one, which is just crazy hard. Look at this. The sun's out. So I'm going to go down to the far end in more sun and see if we can cut the same as we did up here. Cut through the slab so we can break out ready for the edge of the new slab or the footings. Uh, this one here have broken out as you can see up to the halfway line uh, but i want to do the same the other end because frankly i'd rather get rid of this floor saw if i can it's just another tool sat around getting in the way so we've already broken out the slab inside up to here i'm hoping this one's quite thin but we're probably going to end up uh taking out quite a bit of this so we can decide how far the new um structural slab's going to go a crack here so we may as well come out to the end of there so whatever that is may as well be our distance
All right, note to self, it's not very good on uh, slopes. <laughs> Unless you've got about three people holding it back. I guess this thing's, well, well over 100 kilo. And at this point here, I just need to get to that corner post, but it just started going away from me. So I just gradually brought it to a halt, winding the blade up as I went. So I think it won't, I'll never push it uphill either. I'll either break out all of this ramp, which has got to come out anyway, because uh, there's a natural break around the outside and here. So I'll leave this intact, which is good. Apart from that little whoopsie, what a bit of kit. This, um, oh, so quick. I mean, we're cutting through 120, maybe a bit more. One pass, straight line. I'm a pretty straight line for what we need. Well, there we go. We started on cutting the floor. We finished with a broken dumper and half, half a job, half a job for Tim, um, but one step closer. Next job, what is the next job that I can leave you with is a little bit of a taster. I know what we're doing next, Dave the welder. Next job will be some welding action. So it should be a quite a fun video. I'll be able to film from beside him. I'll probably do some of the prep. Might even have a go at some other welding, uh, but the plates will go on these six steels in the middle, one side. I've ordered all the steel, that should be here on Monday. So probably the next video, we'll be doing some welding. There's gonna be a bit of a change of scenery for you soon uh, because we're gonna leave the big barn bill behind just for an afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna pop up and get some fencing done up at Joe's Sisters up the road here. And uh, that'll be another little interlude before we get back stuck into the groundworks. And drainage drawings are almost on the way now, which means that once I've got my site visit from me sewage treatment man, uh, to see what spec we're gonna go with there. We should start be able to get some trenches in. There we go, I'm gonna leave it there. It's soggy and I've got jobs to do. Thanks for watching and remember, if you can, do it yourself. See you next time.